Hey folks, and welcome back to part 2 of the Super Mario Brothers Deluxe playthrough. Now in the last part, I said I was going to explain the story, so let's go ahead and get right to it. And this is directly from the manual, aka uh, Wikipedia as well, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, once upon a time, in the peaceful Mushroom Kingdom, was invaded by Koopas, you know, a tribe of turtles for their dark magic so dark magic was in the freaking mario universe who who would have known and that was just pitiful right there that was pathetic but <laughs> anyway yeah dark magic um these terrible turtles transformed the peace loving uh people into stone bricks and ironically mushrooms holy crap so these turtles had the magical abilities to turn into blocks so it's kind of horrible to imagine that you know i'm pretty sure you guys know this story but you know that those blocks that we smash each time that we get a power up and whatnot it's just helpless helpless inhabitants of the mushroom kingdom holy crap okay let's see then set their own evil king on the throne which is bowser of course um the beautiful mushroom kingdom fell into ruin and despair Okay, it is said that only the daughter of the Mushroom uh, King, Princess Toadstool, aka Princess Peach, can break the evil spell and return the inhabitants of the Mushroom Kingdom back to the normal selves. Hmm. Who, who, who would have thought, huh? Okay, so let's see right here. But then the King of Koopas, knowing that this is a prophecy, can that the lovely Princess Peach and head away in one of his castles. So you have to pretty much just go around and see which castle she's in. Of course she's gonna be in the last castle of the game okay so let's see the simple yet valiant Mario uh, vowed to rescue the princess and free her subjects from King Koopa uh, reign but can Mario really overcome the many obstacles facing him and become a true hero of course he can you know that's just the simple plot of the game the hero wins so basically um, if you guys have noticed in the first part, there was an original mode, which is pretty much is the um, first mode of the game that you encounter. It is uh, nearly a exact replica of the 1985 edition of Super Mario Brothers, only having a few changes. Okay, and those changes are only minor, but I'll get into it when I get into it. But once again, you know, you have to travel through eight uh, worlds, and each world contains four levels. So, the neat thing about this edition is that you can use the select button to, to save or quit the game. So, anywhere in anywhere in the period of your adventure, if you want to save, you just go ahead and hit the select button and save. So, that's pretty neat. Um feature right there the differences between this version and the original is the game physics are somewhat tighter than the original version which you know I can always appreciate that okay the um, the player begins a game with five lives instead of three like the original game you know you can always um, even though they're giving you two additional lives that's much much appreciated so you start the game with that was just pathetic you start the game with five lives instead of three so that's pretty much this that's cool um you can also begin the game with 10 lives with the fortune teller i don't know what that is okay okay many glitches from the original super mario brothers was taken out of super mario brothers deluxe such as the well-known world negative one or the negative one world the minus world uh it, you can't perform that in this version um would have been pretty neat to show that off but um i can't because they took that glitch out Okay, but, um, let's see, although the small Mario f uh, fire glitch can be done in the Japanese version of the game, that would be pretty interesting to pretty much see. Uh, let's see here, as I'm going to, okay, a world map has been added to display the player's progress, which I said that was a pretty nice um, feature. The Also, um, the greatest feature or the coolest feature that I think is the coolest feature is... Um, well, Luigi's in this game, folks, so if you, when you at the world map, if you press the select button, uh, Luigi will pop up, so that's pretty cool, since this game doesn't have, um, you know, animated, um, you know, since the, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied, since the game doesn't have two players, um, so you can have Luigi evolved into you, and take that, you bitch, but anyway, um, the water and lava are animated, in the original, original version it was just static parts of the background um princess um princess peach and toe has talking animations um you know 
originally, um, let's see. Okay, so additionally, when Peach is rescued in the final castle, castle you know, the final level, she's a, uh, she'll approach Mario or Luigi, whichever one you're playing with, and gives him a kiss after thanking him. So basically, um, and let's see, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that's been, you know, added for this version, such as uh, the Luigi Sprite palette has been changed, which is always pretty cool. Um, let's see, his palette's been changed to reflect that of Mario's, so that's pretty neat. Uh, various sounds was adding. It's jumping on boards. Lukidu, uh, Lukidu tossing spiny eggs. You know, Mario making skit, um, skidding noises when he um, reverses. You know, when he backs up. Let's see. Cheap cheats make a noise before they jump. That can be slightly annoying though. And basically, because of the Game Boy Color has a um, smaller resolution than the NES, um, visible playing space is cropped, which results in some stuff being off screen that would be on screen in the original so it can cause a lot of unnecessary deaths so that kind of sucks okay um it can be it can be horrible to a uh, stage like uh one three but to compensate for that you'll be um you can be able to adjust the camera by pressing the select button or you know up on the d-pad you could be able to you know pretty much just um change your direction there but anyway yeah that's all the freaking neat stuff they added to super mario brothers deluxe um hope you guys didn't really fall asleep during that i just thought it would be some you know interesting interesting uh tidbits to add there so pretty much i just pretty much just went over the whole wikipedia uh whole wikipedia paragraph that they had for the uh, additional changes and whatnot they had for Super Mario Brothers Deluxe so I hope I didn't bore you guys too bad with that I just thought you know maybe I should get that out of the way um this game also has a different mode where you can race against like um booze and stuff it has a challenge mode so you can find like red coins in challenge mode you can find a hidden Yoshi egg in world 1-1 in challenge mode so basically, it just you travel through all 32 levels of Super Mario Brothers. You gotta collect red coins and Yoshi eggs, and try to get a higher score to unlock medals. If you're interested in that, um, depending on how well you do, your scores can vary greatly. So, you know, um, you can also lo uh, unlock t uh, pictures in a gather uh, gallery if you want to. You know, just little pictures to look at. So if you want to do that. Um, feel free to do that um it also has a super mario bros for super players which is the lost levels port <laughs> so i don't know if i'm gonna get to that folks i probably will i don't know maybe i don't know it's just oh the frustration if it has a save feature uh, i have to look at that a little later but if it does then if you guys you know want me to do that which i'm pretty sure you might then uh I'll go ahead and do that. I'm not familiar with that game at all, folks. And from the other people's playthroughs, I've seen that. They, uh, the frustration that comes along with that, folks. So when I come and play that game, if you guys want me to do it, that game's going to be annoying for probably just the wrong reasons. So, like I stated before, I know what the game is and what it entails and toes, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my body is not ready for that game. Not at all. <laughs> so, like I stated before, if you guys want me to do that, um, I'm kind of a little hesitant. But if, you know, I get enough subscribers and viewers say they want me to play that game, then uh, I will play that game. But I am not going to enjoy it in the least bit at all. But if you guys want me to do that, like I stated before, I... Uh, I will, I will, but, you know, just this, this is the great thing about having a Let's Play channel, folks, it's just discovering the challenges, um, number one, just going back and playing classic games such as this is always a joy to, always a joy to do, folks, it's just, you're going back, playing games that you forgot about, and you're just doing it, you know, not just for, you know, to have something to put up on your channel. You're just doing it to just remember how, you know, how much you have either resentment or enjoyment for the game. And I think that's what having a Let's Channel is all, uh, a Let's Play channel is all about. It's just, you know, 
What about this game that I remember having so much fun with? Or what about this game that is just a piece of crap that I can't stand anymore? You know, it, it makes you ask uh, those questions. So, you know, it just makes you ask, you know, what exactly did you hate or love about the game? And that's what I like about doing Let's Play Channel, folks. I really do. But anyway, um, I have some more games planned for you, folks. I'm going to be doing some Kirby and... You know, so if my Kirby fans out there get excited for that. Um, I'm gonna be doing some other, you know, shooters, beat 'em ups, up that stuff. Um, you know, I'm gonna be doing some more playthroughs. I'm bringing back a certain co-host, so he's gonna be ready to do some games with me as well. So you know, just, just stay tuned for this channel, folks. We're gonna be bringing a lot of goodness. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button already. You know, you if if you are subscribed. You know, thanks for watching. But this is going to do it for the end of part two. So stay tuned to part three of the Super Mario Deluxe playthrough. And see you then, folks. See you then.